Hi guys, in this video, we are going to create a WhatsApp bot without any code. So I came across this platform known as Vectorshift.ai. This is an end-to-end -end platform for AI automation tools. There's an integration of no-code, low-code or out-of-the-box generative AI solutions to build AI search engines, assistants, chatbots and automations. For example, we have this pipeline to build a chatbot we're taking the input taking the file loader put it in a vector db extract the details from the vector db based on the questions which is typically like a normal chatbot here if you see we get a good glimpse of what we have here so that's a file node here and that's a model text so we put in the text we take in the file input here uh, put it in a file loader in terms of uh, vector dbs or in terms of chunks and vector dbs give the whole thing to an llm and get the results so this is the code sdk they indeed have a code sdk as well but what we are going to be more interested in this video is the no code solution so let me go ahead to vector shift and go to login and login to vector shift and see the details now in this video you will come to know each and every details that is required for building the chatbot that we have seen here so first we need to create a storage so we go to storage and i've already created a storage for you which is a knowledge base this knowledge base i'm renamed this to olama documents and this has three urls of the olama blog so i have this blog of olama and what i've done is i've gone to the three links and just copied these links and pasted it as the knowledge uh, base here so you can add in a document here document loader is the url here and you can put in the url you can of course load in different kinds of documents and if you once you load these documents these will be stored as permanent vector stores where you can query which you can query and get your response uh, whenever required so this is a storage base now we go to pipeline and create a new pipeline so i have already created a pipeline for you this pipeline uh, let's go through the pipeline so first and foremost we have this input field so the name of the field is input underscore one this is a text type of input so once we have this input this is going to go as a question to the large language model here the input is also going to go to the knowledge base reader and we have loaded the olama documents that we have so the knowledge base is available from here you can put in knowledge here and just click here and you can see the olama documents knowledge base that we have already uh, prepared so this input goes to the query here so you can just drag and drop it here and the output goes to the context here so how we created the llm is that this is the openai llm and we of course need a system prompt here so I've written the system prompt as yours, Eminem, uh, a helpful assistant that answers a user's question based on context and conversation history. If you are at any point of time unable to answer the user's question, then direct them to the Olama blog. We also need to give some prompts here. So question is this. So you can create a new link, a new input variable. Uh, for example, if I have, I want to create a new variable, let's say let's say uh, i want to create a prompt now and we put in three codes and then we say within this brackets we specify the prompt here so this is how you can generate an input and you can connect this input with some other uh, input devices so for now i'm going to remove this but this is how we have created these three inputs that you see on the left the question the, the context and the memory so we have talked about the input we have talked about the knowledge base reader this will be the context that we are going to use this is the question here and in the 
memory we also need a memory because it's going to remember the uh, memory the, of the chatbot so we are going to put in this uh, chat memory here uh, in the full formatted form and then we are going to link it to the memory here you're going to use gpt 3.5 here that's a cheap and you can test it out also we have this output node here and then we're going to connect the response there now we can save this and try and have a run so we can put in uh, what is olama and click on run so we get the answer now now since we have prepared the we have prepared the pipeline here and we are going to connect it to a bot so in order to do that we can go to the chatbot section here and in the chatbot section we i've already created a new chatbot for you so we're just going to edit this so then the descriptions that we have put is in the general section we have put in the name of the chatbot here and some description in the pipeline configuration we selected the olama info docs pipeline that we have already created and that pipeline is going to take an input as the variable uh, it's going to take an input and it's going to output the output one so we're going to we can save this and before saving let's go to the functionalities here and then within the functionalities we can uh, click on chatbot so we can change this uh, chatbot of olama docs so we have the user here we have assistant uh, here and we can type in the welcome message as well welcome message for example uh, how can i help you on olama okay then you can put in uh, allow to stop generation so just an initial prompts and uh, that's okay of course we have the styling features as well uh, which will help to uh, put in the accent color different types of other uh, adjustments we go to export and within the chatbot we can click on a deploy we can embed the chatbot within the html uh, documents as well now what we are more interested uh, and there are other settings in the manager as well what you're more interested in is the whatsapp integration so we go to whatsapp integration now and we're gonna have to put in the twilo account um, sid and uh, authentication here so we created an account on twiller so start for free so let me uh, go and log in so go to sign up with google continue with google okay so we are on Twilo now, so you can copy this uh, account ID and the authentication token and uh, put it here. Also, the last step that we need to do is to copy this uh, URL here and go to the messaging here on Twilo, go to try it out, go to send a WhatsApp message. And we are going to do some settings here that will ultimately make the connection so we go to sandbox settings here we put in the link here okay but the private key and the public key we need to enter from the settings here so we go to vector shift go to settings and then we need to generate a key so just put in a name and then you'll get the <coughs> public and the private key that we can use and put it um, in these locations the public and the private key so we click on save and then we go to the sandbox which is where you will see this page and you can connect to whatsapp so once we uh, try to connect to this phone number we just need to uh, send this message as join experiment true so that will help you to connect so when I first ask, how are you, then uh, it's not connected, but you need to specify this code word of join experiment true, and this is all set. So hi, how, how are you? I'm here. So you can just chat with the WhatsApp now. So hi there. Right. So can I use Olama on Windows? Since we have uploaded uh, the document base about Olama, 
We can ask questions about Olama and this chatbot is going to return you everything that is necessary. So pretty cool. This is how you integrate everything. So if I summarize everything in the vector store, we have created three things. The first is the storage. The next is a structured pipeline. And then in the chatbot section, we created a chatbot, a WhatsApp chatbot, and we connected that WhatsApp chatbot with the Twilo platform to get your WhatsApp up and running in just 10 minutes. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out the vectorshift.ai. That's a wonderful platform. There are so many other tutorials that I'm going to uh, research and bring it to you. It has the capabilities of all the large lang all these large language models. It has integrations and automations in our Notion, Google Drive, and so many other things. I am uh, going to contact the makers of this vector shift AI and get some Olama integration as well. Well, of course, that's for the future video. But yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, join vector shift, and I will see you next time. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how to run your custom models on Olama, you can check out this video. Thank you and have a nice day.